what's up dudes this is Nolan on PC and today we're continuing our little trip down the rabbit hole that is Kerbal Space Program and I wasn't 100% sure I was gonna actually make a video for this I thought it would just be something fun I could do like over the, the long weekend and I realized I, I might as well I realized kind of too late you know I got here I've got I think I've got enough fuel left if not we'll be able to get this thing into We'll be able to change this trajectory enough that we can probably get it to hook around Earth a little more where we could send up another one very easily to rendezvous, so that's probably going to be this video. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get like the launch. Uh, I even have like another craft that I launched up and put into orbit uh, with the, the return pods with the parachutes. It's a whole big ordeal, but we're going we're gonna to actually, I'm gonna, I've decided I'm going to record this. I'm going to make a video for this little adventure um and it's probably going to be like a two or maybe even a three part because like look how big this monster is i think it's e-class doesn't say no fuck you okay i yeah i'm pretty sure it's e-class the biggest of the big oh it's got a big dimple on the side oh that's cute um i've got center of mass or at least i did i've got center of mass and it's it's got a good bite right in the center so i think it should be able to push very easily we we just got here i just hit f5 quick save i backed out i got rid of the debris and now we've come back in and i pressed record so we're basically that's why i'm a little like i'm a little chaotic you can hear you can hear a, a different tone in my voice because this is more sort of by the seat of my pants at the last minute i have nothing prepared i have nothing to talk about it's just it's just raw this is just raw stuff right here um we need to get to retrograde but it says I'm going zero meters a second. All right, I'm gonna target something. I'm gonna target something. Okay, we're gonna target, how about this thing? Set as target, unset as target. There we go, perfect. I don't know why this game does that sometimes. It, I have a feeling like it might just be like a mod or something silly that I'm doing. Something I've done has kind of broke the game and makes it do that. But I, I like to think I'm not a complete moron, and I hope that it is just a little bug that gets fixed at some point. I don't know if that beep came through the microphone, but my coffee maker just uh, turned off. Am I good? I think I'm good. Am I Gucci? Yeah, I think I'm good. That's still warm. I will not be requiring a second cup. Let's try and give a little throttle, maybe. That might help get it around. It's really kind of avoiding going to retrograde, so I'm doing a bit of the work here. <laughs> it's big and heavy, so I'm, I'm fighting with it, but I have a lot of control, so once we get to retro, I can go full throttle and I think it'll stay put. Yeah, I think this is twerking. Oh, we already have an orbit? Holy shit, that was fast. We only had to knock off like a few meters a second to get an orbit. We didn't, I swear to god, we didn't have an orbit to go, did we? Right? When I did the target and untarget? That might have changed something? I don't know. It a minute ago there was no orbit and then I did some things and now we've got an orbit that was kind of magical <laughs> it's like I don't know if I believe it I think the game's trying to trick us all right so we have it looks to be more than enough fuel to at least get like a close orbit here the problem is <laughs> the problem Ooh, what we should do well the orbit is still big and meldable Nope, I'm gonna go around to this side. Because I'm not a fucking idiot. Okay, flatten that out, flatten. I'm sorry, this is finicky work. This is really finicky work. Okay, good enough, good enough, good enough, good enough. Right about, boink, there. Damn it, on the wrong side. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I don't care. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. This is me not caring. This is me not caring. Okay, I make the white line that's around the earth right now flat. Now I want to try and make this about the same flatness. This is all very scientific. Yeah. 
Yeah, that works. Okay. Okay. Where are we? There we are. Estimated burn 44 seconds, so we won't be requiring much in the way of a burn. Right around here, I'm going to try and get to maneuver. One of my one of my steps to doing this was I have a refueler that sits at around a million meters or so. Like a big giant way, way wide out orbit. I think you guys may have seen it sort of in passing in other videos. So this craft actually rendezvoused with that and refilled its monopropellant and fuel and then continued on. So having that refueler actually did really come in handy. Um, there was a little pod on the back of the refueler that I actually returned to Earth. I had to because... Is that is that the marker we want? It is, isn't it? It was going right by it. Uh, yeah, so I returned the pod to Earth. And then just, just the mega refueler was sitting out there and then we docked this asteroid collecting thingamajigger on it docked etc uh, how it docked was the back engine had a decoupler on it and then a, a giant clampatron so what I did was uh, went up there with the four rendezvoused with RCS and these four nuclear engines uh, coupled on the on the ass basically drove it by the, this thing <laughs> and then did it a couple refueled and as i got away i went to break away the clampatron and the decoupler that was sitting here but it got retained in this negative space by the four engines it, the four engines wouldn't let it leave so it bounced around in there a bit and i was like oh fuck, what do i do it's like it's like wedged in there it's not coming out so i i was forced to turn on this engine and then burn full throttle and it eventually heated up the parts to a point that they popped and it didn't take anything else with them it just vanished so it was almost a crisis but it was just an opportunity to learn so it was a crisis opportunity we should calibrate yeah full burn 44 seconds okay <clears throat> four hours one hour gotta get down to basically a, a minute and we're in burn Again, all this is doing is just flattening out the orbit. All, all I wanted this craft to do was to slow the E-Class down enough to just get into at least a hook around the Earth so we could launch another one to break it and put it into an orbit. We got lucky, and this thing was going by so slow initially, it was only going 450 meters a second or something. So m slowing it down to get an orbit really didn't take much and now slowing it down and moving it around way out here really is not taking much so we're we're lucky in that sense good enough all right so that's a nice it's a flat ish orbit we're gonna go to we're gonna go to apo break it into like maybe just outside a million just outside the uh, refueler maybe because I think we can literally drive the refueler over to this thing. Oh, this thing doesn't have any ports on it. Yeah, shit. I should have put a uh, one of those asteroid arms on the refueler. That would have been smart. No, we want. Yeah, we want retro. Retrograde. What's uh? going on in the neighborhood. Oh, that's why. 
And I was like, why don't I have any control? I'm like, why isn't like anything happening? Because I was still in just a, a hair amount of fast forward, but you can't tell it here. <laughs> like it looks, it looks like it stopped. This is three times fast forward. It doesn't look any different. <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah, we're good. Yep, my mistake. Okay, so we should probably go a little farther. Because we have lots of time. I think that's retro right there. Breaking burn. <laughs> Pretty geometry. Uh oh. That would have been awkward. Be cool if we could, like, you know, planet destroy. Like, if you actually could create, you know, that that moon would have an impact resistance <clears throat> of, like, bajillions. So if you could just get an asteroid going fast enough completely destroy it and then it would just turn into like a thousand tiny a-class asteroids that'd be fucking awesome okay i said about a million we're gonna go like 101 sorry 1 million 100 uh just so it has no chance of hitting the uh refueler at all A little wonky, but that's okay. That's okay. We could we could always fix it later. We have basically nothing in the way of fuel left, so this is basically the the, the last little bit of this particular craft's usefulness. towards retrograde. There it is. That's the end of monopropellant, which is basically everything we've got. The um, the guidance system's natural SAS, or onboard SAS, really is not strong enough to, to, to move this craft at all. Because <laughs> this craft is a giant fucking asteroid. <laughs> We're not going to be able to chisel this away much, but we have to get it out of the way of the moon. It's it's pretty close to the moons. Oh, Minmuses, excuse me. Um, and this is going to be a big problem. We have to we have to catch this thing like really quick. But it is really close. We can do this. We can do this. I believe. Wasn't I going to, like, retrograde? What's going on? Set. Oh, god damn it. Set. Unset. I, didn't I tell you to go to fucking retro? God damn it. Game. Game, please. Orbit fucking bigger right now. This is great. This is just this is fantastic.
Nah, I think I fell asleep there. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Um, coming up on retro. I'm gonna be able to burn probably a couple hundred meters off. Serenity Simulator 2015 Null Edition. All right. We got pretty turned around, but we're, <laughs> we're back at it. This looks a lot like Prograde. But it's not. My bad. Chiseling a bit away. Just about to run out of liquid. Bummer. So, I, I should probably just leave it on there. It'll burn up probably on re-entry. Actually, it probably won't burn up on re-entry. It'll end up it'll end up down on Earth. So we should probably just re release it. After we get the next one on, we're gonna release this thing and then just delete it. But, but yeah, I'm going to have to wait until we get the next one on it. Yes. This is the first glimpse you're getting of Kerbin up close, so to speak. Uh, and you'll notice I have one of the visual enhancement mods on. I thought I'd give it a try. And I'm liking it so far. It definitely adds something. You know, I've got a Planet Shine. And I think it's called Eve. Or one of the Eve-like 1.1 things. Um... How long is this video run? This video has run pretty long already, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call it here, just so I have more to pump out instead of doing like one 30 minute. Let's do two 15s, you know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna split this up. So the next video, which I'm gonna film right away, but you're gonna get in a day or two after, the next video will be us getting up here, making this orbit a little smaller, tucking it in at maybe like 100,000 or so. And then we're going to pop a bunch of parachute pods onto it. And the video after that, the third video, will be us probably getting this thing actually down and landed at the KSC, right at Cape Curb Navarro. I want to put it right beside the runway. So we just have to get it in the vicinity somewhere. And then I can push it over and put it into step one of the Asteroid Museum, which we did a long time ago. Like episode, like I think it was in the 20s or 30s. Yeah, like episode 24, 25, 26, something like that, was like Asteroid Comet Museum, and I had all five sizes. I want to do that again. I really want to do that again, especially with the Unity engine. I think it would run a lot better now. So guys, until next time, thank you for watching the video. I hope you share, comment, like, tell me what you're playing, do all those good things you guys do as YouTubers. And guys, until next time, peace, love, cheers. <laughs>